The next hotkey that we're gonna look at setting up is for the mode window execute. So what happens with window execute is you have to manually input the criteria inside of your order ticket before you hit the combination key for your windows execute hotkey. So for example, we're gonna set this criteria here. We're gonna do a quantity of 100 shares. We're gonna do a limit order, all right? And then we're gonna set a price of 170. All right, awesome. Now, once we have that information set inside of our order ticket, let's go back in, add new. Let's start creating this window execute hotkey. All right, so I'm gonna do Alt 3, give it a name. We're gonna name this Buy. All right, we're gonna change our mode over to Window Execute. And since it's on Buy, we don't have to change anything else because all of that information is already inside of our order ticket. As you can see, the rest of this information on this line is grayed out because we already have much of that data inside of our order ticket. So we're just gonna hit save, go back to stocks. So we have 100 shares of Apple at 170, all right? We're gonna change that symbol again. I'm gonna do Ford, all right? Now let's change the quantity to 50, great. So we have Ford, 50 shares. Price, we're gonna change that over to $12, all right? And then we have our time of course for day. So now, let's go on ahead and execute that hotkey. We wanna make sure that we're on level two. Now we're gonna input our hotkey combination, Alt 3. So we have this order confirmation here that appears the moment we press our Alt 3 hotkey for the Windows execute mode. And we could go on ahead and click confirm once we're ready to place the order. And then we could also disable this confirmation window if we do, if we no longer wanna see these pop-ups.